What's up, y'all? I did a video a long time ago about this ex-boxer, one of the toughest guys to ever be in the sport of boxing. Bet you have no idea who I'm about to say. Joe Egan. Mike Tyson described him as the toughest white man on the planet. This is a guy that sparred with Mike Tyson, Lennox Lewis, and claims he was never knocked down. He's calling out Big John Fury. <laughs> and he just wants to have a fight with him. You know, his whole thing is about bravery. And uh, he just wants, he said both of them were never that skillful. He said, you know, I got hit by Lennox Lewis, Mike Tyson, never went down. He got knocked out by Henry Akinwande. <clears throat> Henry Akinwande could punch, you know. Not against Lennox Lewis, though. I was at that fight in Lake Tahoe. <laughs> he was just all clutch in that fight. But Joe Egan is calling out Iron Mike Tyson. Um, True Jordy, did I have to finish the interview? I just uh, wanted to point out that um, someone's taking John Fury up on the offer. I don't think his fight with Mike Tyson is going to come through. <clears throat> But this guy's willing to do it, and he's a tough guy. He's 58 years old. I forget the age of uh, John Fury, but, hey, I would watch it just for the, you know, the John Fury's going to be going ham at the press conference. Uh, Joe Egan's, um, he'll probably trash talk, but he's not going to go as far <laughs> as John Fury. You know, the Furies are known for having a mouth on them. So he's not going to go ham like John Fury would, but it'll be an interesting press conference. I pay to see it. I pay to see this more than some of the upcoming fighters that I'm seeing. Uh, would you guys watch it is the question. <laughs> and I would watch it for free, though. I'm not paying no pay-per-view for it. But I thought it was something interesting that Joe Egan said during the interview. He talked about being cut during sparring. Uh, something caught his eye and like ripped it open. And he said he knew right then his boxing career was over. So apparently you can be cut with headgear unless he was sparring without headgear. You know, some guys spar without headgear. So I don't know. But, uh. Yeah, go check out the interview if you haven't seen it. True Jordy interviews, um, <clears throat> excuse me, Joe Egan. And, uh, it, you know, guys like him are throwbacks, you know, real tough guys, manly men, stand up to bullies, fight for people that can't fight for themselves. It's hard to find, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, it's hard to find uh, real genuine solid men like that in the world today. But uh, yeah, like I said, I'd watch it. Anyway, want to give some shout outs to some people that show me love. Uh, <clears throat> Counterpunch Boxing News with KD, Kurt, Showbiz the Adult, Chris Jones, uh, Tony's Reviews. My fellow weightlifting uh, dude, um, Boxing Wave, Mr. Boxing Today 2, DT3, the Boon Man, don't know how I've been forgetting to say him, Andrew Tucker World, uh, Gene Dill, and um, Boxing on the Edge, so many great platforms out there in WA Stories with Alonzo Williams. Go subscribe to these platforms if you haven't. And, um, you know, you don't have to agree with everything everybody says to subscribe to them, you know. So don't feel like the minute I say something or they say something that you don't like, oh, I'm going to unsubscribe. Well, you know, it's cool to have a difference of opinion. If we all agreed, then these uh, platforms would be kind of dull and boring. So. It's good to have discord and conversation and stuff like that as long as you don't get disrespectful with it, you know. So that's my take on that. Anyway, if you choose to support the platform, my cash app is dollar sign J-R-O-O-S-3-3. Thanks for watching. LSR forever. Like I said, subscribe, beat down the like button, and be fearless. Yay.